The structure of the kite that I made is from lightweight materials. That is why it is easy to fly and attach by a light thread which is used to control the force of the kite. If you can see my kite fly and remains constant from some time, why? Because there are four types of forces act on the kite in the sky. First, it is lift, weight, thrust, and drag. The first force is lift, which helps the kite fly to fly in the sky. It, it is produced due to variation in pressure of the air. The, the upper part of the kite faces low pressure, and the lower part of the kite faces high pressure. Due to its pressure difference, differences, kites, the kite can easily lift up for direction and we can call it lifting. The next force is weight or we can call it gravitational pull. Any object pulled towards the earth is due to gravity. Since the paper kite is made of light materials, the weight will be less, lift force becomes more. The kite force is thrust. It helps the kite fly in the sky in direction of the air. Force ex exerted by an object per perpendicular to the surface is called thrust, in which we can control by pulling the thread. There is another force that, that is an act just opposite to thrust, that is air drag or air friction. As we will all know, that, that frictional force acts just opposite to, to, the, to the direction of motion. We can understand it from Newton's third law of motion. For very action, there is, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So the thrust is the action and, and the equal opposite reaction is the air drag or air friction. In order for us to balance the kite or make it constant, we have to balance these forces, thrust and air drag or air friction.